Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, welcome. My name is Bella. I am a life and style enthusiast and blogger and I am so happy to be here. Today's video, first of all, it's has been a while since I made a video in real time. Guys, as you see me now, even as I'm making this video, <laughs> I'm preparing for marriage class, <laughs> so, and not marriage class, I'm preparing for my marriage class exams. So yeah, there's a lot going on. And I mean, I feel like this year is just like for making new new types of content. Um, I've realized now that I'm very transitional, a blogger. I actually spoke a little bit about that when I was having a conversation with Uche Jack on um, boundaries, setting boundaries on her podcast, The Chill Space. I'll leave it down below in case you want to check that out. But I realized that I'm just a transitional person naturally. So the tendency is that I will keep on making content based on the phase of life that I'm in. <laughs> you can tell that like, I'm just, I'm just really happy to be here, man. Anyway, today I'm going to do a home haul. I traveled for a little bit, left my child all in the bid to, um, do some wedding shopping, see my brother that I haven't seen in like, I haven't seen him since before I had Zoe and yeah, pick up a lot of things that I had already been buying. So if you're on my Instagram, Bella, fire me over here. I'll put it over here in case you want to follow and I'll put a link in the description as well. Um, there was a point in time that I was talking about Homer stuff and I spoke about the fact that um, I have been buying things like little by little. Um, and that was before we had found our home and now we have found our home <laughs> it's so weird saying that i can't just say house really i really can't just say house but like just just because i'm like dramatic but like it, it really does already feel like our home because we're putting so much heart and soul into it i'm definitely going to be making videos about that and the process of going from how it was before we entered that house to how it would be when it is that we actually move in because you know if you're a nigerian child you know that you can't really move out until you get married so deji's going to move in before me that is pretty much where i'm going to be spending the majority of my time i probably will only be back home to sleep and like yeah i have like a bunch of stuff i put it inside this stuff this bag this is the bag of like my hand luggage. This bag my hand luggage came with. And there's there are actually a couple of things that did not fit into this bag. So I will bring them out when it's time. Or let me just bring them out now. Let me not procrastinate. I'll bring it out now. Okay, so this first item that I'm showing you guys, or first set of things, is for Christmas. <laughs> I know, I actually know. Trust me that I know that this is just ridiculous because this is March. But like... When, you're, when you have the opportunity to buy things out of Nigeria, even if it's for like next year, January, trust me, I will buy every opportunity I get to get things. I'm such a, I plan so ahead that like I can afford to say, okay, I, I'm going to need this, this and this in so, so and so months. So I'm just going to buy it ahead of time if I can afford it. So the first couple of things are our Christmas stockings. This year, at the end of the year, by God's grace, we will be very comfortable and very well moved into our house. So we will be able to celebrate our first Christmas in our house. And I would love for us to have our Christmas stockings hung. I mean, there's no fireplace or anything like that. So it's just probably be somewhere in the living room. But um, let me show you what is cute about them. So this one says MZ, because that is me. And then this one says, I know it's only Zoe's only people care about Shabbat. Let me just still show DJ and Isa. This one says PZ, which means Papa Zoe. And the last one says, of course, Zoe. So I'm like, I love Christmas. I'm such a celebrator. I love to like do things up. I like to host people. Imagine my stress and strain during this pandemic, being, not being able to really interact with so many people. Because it's only when I'm hosting that I actually want to interact with people. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I'm not really the type that just wants to ra randomly be spending time with people. Except like a few people. Before they'll see it, I'm be insulting me. Okay, this isn't actually supposed to be in here. But like, since it's here, let me cover the dates. Because I still feel like I want the, the dates to be, I want to wait till closer to the time. But this is a box that I had made. And it says Annabelle and Deji. Yes, our wedding is in June 2021 and you open it 
and this is where we're going to keep our rings on our wedding day so Zoe is if you've not watched my video where I spoke about the wedding and all that doing like a Q&A Zoe is our ring bearer I felt like it would be easier for her to not misplace the rings if they inside something like this so somebody is going to be holding on to them and then when it's time for her to walk down the aisle they will give her the box and she'll walk down with the box We've already started practicing. So the next thing I have are these um, silicone containers. I have a couple of them. This particular one is from Zip Top. A lot of these things are from Amazon, so I'm going to link them below so that you can shop them if you're interested. These Zip Tops, um, they're like Ziploc bags, but you know, reusable. So they're silicone, they sit straight, they are microwave safe, they are dishwasher safe if you have a dishwasher in Africa. Yeah, they're just really good for storing food. Um, I just, my mind frame going into the into our household is to try and make things as healthy as possible with the knowledge that we currently have. So it is no longer the days of our parents where you would just buy like things because they look nice. A lot of the things that you buy now are based on functionality, are based on health and ETC. And DJ and I's like dream is to have a home that is plastic free. So like we're trying to do our possible best to eliminate as much plastic in like rotation as possible. A lot of people, including us, we have like our own health struggles and stuff like that. So. It is important for us that we make our environment as conducive to us living as possible. Like, if you don't have to interact with certain things that are potentially harmful to your body, like, why would you? That kind of thing. So, yeah. This comes in a bunch of different sizes, and um, there are also small ones for Zoe. I will put the links to the smaller ones. Um, she uses them now to take her lunch. She takes them um, to take her snacks and stuff to school, but they're not here at the moment. If not, I would have shown them as well. So yeah, this is what one of them looks like. They are bigger sizes of this as well. Next up, I have these hangers. So um, I think they came in a pack of, I won't say 30. Um, I didn't bring all of them back with me to Nigeria. When my brothers and my brothers are coming from the wed for the wedding and stuff like that, <laughs> I left like a box, a box and a half of things over there. So, but these are for Zoe. Um, we started off with the mind frame, like in our kitchen. Our initial vibe for the kitchen was like we wanted like a lot of copper, a lot of copper and like earth tones and stuff like that. But that is really essentially just for the kitchen but i still really like this as a metal like i love the idea of like copper or this kind of pinky brass color so i decided that um, i would incorporate that as well i love these because unlike a lot of plastic hangers they cannot just randomly be breaking on you so they are made to last and also i, I feel like this color is pretty unisex so that at the point in time when zoe's clothes become too big for these kinds of hangers her brothers or brother and sister or sisters or anybody that comes after her by God's special grace will be able to use them as well. A lot of hauls that you will see because I'm definitely going to be doing more. I'm going to be doing some based on stuff that I've gotten in Nigeria. I'll do a lot based on like when I move in because there are certain things that my mom traditionally has gotten for me but I can't show because she has not officially handed them over to me but like I'm really excited to like share so much with you guys like this wedding period has just been so exciting for me um but like i'll make a life update video eventually about it maybe even after this next up i have these throws um <laughs> i started off i know they're yellow they're so pretty i started off not really wanting anything that had like this velvet um feel to it so i don't really know how i got here um these are like the they're rectangular they're velvet and then they have like puffs on the top um i don't know how i got here to be honest i really loved the color and i felt like i had a couple of different textures and i'm really working with like a lot of textures for like throw pillows and stuff like in the living room so i it came in a pack of two it's likely that only one of them will be actually in the living room and then maybe the other one will be like in the bedroom or like anywhere else maybe like on a chair 
somewhere for like my back or whatever but i really like them and it lots of and i think this was really affordable as well i have these and this is <laughs> this thing is one of those things that amazon made me buy and i think that is what this video is going to be titled because this is actually almost entirely an amazon haul and amazon and I, I i need to stop i've stopped since i came back to nigeria i've stopped watching all those amazon haul videos because they are actually they will be the death of me but these are like dividers that you put in your drawer they help you like store your underwear and stuff like that so that they don't touch and like things are always arranged because one of my biggest issues i'm such an organizer and i will be making a lot of a lot more a lot of organizational content because i organize i'm literally always organizing but the one thing about like organizing underwear and stuff like that is literally that once you just remove one thing everything just almost tumbles like a house of cards so i got this first set i'm going to get another one because i i am going to do it for i'll do i actually need to get two more because this is like a set for a full drawer like a full drawer so i'm going to have to do this again one for zoe and one for dg the next thing this is actually from etsy if you haven't ever been on etsy i don't know what you're waiting for etsy is basically a site where like artisans and creatives sell their things so you can find a lot of unique things that you would not find like anywhere else if you're looking for like things that are one of a kind or at least more difficult to find than things that you find on amazon and see in everybody's house etsy is the place to go and i got this it is extremely heavy. I know you cannot tell what it is because Digi, <laughs> Digi could also not tell what it was. But this is a candle holder and it's very simple, very minimalist. It's like a green ceramic. It's literally made, it's made from clay. And um, I just envisioned this with like one of the white candles on it as part of my like dining table arrangements. Our dining table is going to be, I mean, we're only three, so our dining table is going to be relatively cozy. And I really want to put in a lot of different elements. Like I want something flowery. I want like the candle and stuff like that. So this is more like what the dining table will look like on a casual day as compared to like if we have guests over or anything like that. So here I have more, more of these Ziploc containers. This is from a different brand though. This one is double sealed. I think it's from... I don't know how what brand this is from, but this one can also go in the oven. But yeah, I will put like this next to the zip top one so that you can check them out. Okay, the smaller one is inside here as well. And I I really liked these in particular because these ones feel like they would be good for like chicken stock and stuff that like is more liquid. And it also has measurements in liquid. So I think that's also why I felt like it would be good for liquid. So it would be good for things that you still want to keep in your fridge, but like you don't want to take too much space. So like vertical as compared to like horizontal. Next up, these are for Zoe. I got, I've been trying to like rack my brain about what exactly she's going to be eating in because a lot of things that we've already gotten and like stuff like I said that my mom has gotten are predominantly for adults. So I got these for her. I've also I've made it clear to you guys already that I really like things that are like eco-conscious and like good for you and stuff like that. So these plates are actually made of bamboo. They're four different um, colors. And this is what it looks like. It's a pretty small plate, you know. Um, I like it because it's, it's sturdy enough for children, but it also still feels like it could be ceramic like it's strong but then it also still feels like it has a bit of weight to it so i really like that and i got i actually got some flatware for it as well like flat plates to go along with this but i also got the cups so yeah this, this is so cute man so i just like the colors as well because i mean i'm sure eventually zoe is going to end up having some of the like extra colorful plates and stuff but in the process of me buying a lot of things for her i always try to keep them as neutral as possible my child is very hyper i feel like she's already stimulated enough like i just feel like with food and stuff like that she should not be overstimulated sometimes like with her pepper plates and stuff like that she gets so easily distracted because of like she, she wants to identify everybody on it yes it's nice and it's cute sometimes but like when you're just trying to 
get your child to consume their meal <laughs> and move on to other things like you don't want to make breakfast lunch and dinner an event at least i don't want to make it an event all the time so like yeah i just wanted to get really simple things i don't know what amazon did to me for this one i don't know because like when i saw it i was just like but why why because like why but this is a <laughs> this is a remote holder so you can mount it on your wall so you can either use it for your ac or you can use it for your tv remotes i actually bought it to be used for tv remotes because tv remotes are always getting missing like that's just a thing and i also have trust issues when it comes to my child i am worried that if i put tv remotes inside like a drawer in a console or something she's going to pick it up and drop it somewhere and we just won't see it she doesn't currently like remotes but children are notorious for making toys out of just about anything so like i don't want to put it past that next up um is this book and this is one of the coffee table books that i have gotten um i've gotten some of my friends to get me some as well <laughs> but there's a, a vibe to it there's a vibe that i'm going for and this book is from kinfolk i know my friend kaltum also has stuff from them um, I think they're also pretty trendy at the moment, so that is what it is. But I just love this because it says interiors for slow living. It's just very minimalist and like about being very conscious about your environment and stuff like that. It's important to me to have coffee table books that people can actually read and that I can actually read and learn things from. I'm not really in interested in like getting like Chanel and Vogue and all those random things that you know don't really impact my life <laughs> in any way like they're cute don't get me wrong they're really cute but like i really want stuff that like i can read from i say like so much take a shot i can read from and that's i can feel like it is actually benefiting me and whoever it is that i'm interacting with cool cool you get it cool okay i have these placemats so these are just simple blue rectangular placemats. They are kind of transparent as you can see. They're easy to clean because once again, I have a child. <laughs> and I just really like them. I think that these would be nice for like everyday use. So I actually got them for everyday use. And I think they come in a set of six. And since I'm already on placemats, I got these ones. I don't know if you can see them. They're like they're white they are also woven um they have like gold woven into them i thought they were so 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 pretty and i can envision using this for like special occasions or even to put like pots on on the dining table or even just to have in the middle of the dining table like on a regular day i just felt like these looked very like this is my idea of like fancy table <laughs> table and um, place mats i know like other people have other ideas but like for my like bohemian kind of style because that is really my vibe my vibe is very like minimalist but boho as well so i felt like that really went with my energy yeah. i have a couple of wooden utensils because i mean i really don't want to be destroying my pots unless i absolutely have to so i have like a ladle this came in a set as well um I was really impressed by this because there are certain things that when you see them on Amazon or on the internet in general, you're worried and you're just like, God, let it not come and be this size. This was one of those things. When I saw the picture, I was just like, God, let it actually be the size that I expect. And it is the size that I expected. I love it. Like, I love them so much. They are so functional, but also very aesthetically pleasing, very my vibe. Um, very like boho, very earthy and stuff like that. I really like when things that are functional, and I'm sure I've said this already <laughs> in this video, but I like when things are functional, but also beautiful. I'm not really fond of decorations. Like I like when I see like organic things that are turned into decorations, but I don't like like you might, you most likely will not see a lot of things in my house that are just random. Unless we are collecting them maybe from travels or something like that. I, I don't really like it. I feel like it causes a lot of clutter. And that's something that I'm actively working against in my life. Like I'm constantly decluttering my space. So next up, I got a set of um, measuring cups and 
measuring spoons they are so freaking cute man like i just love i love the fact that they are so sturdy i love the wooden handle i love obviously like i said before copper so this comes with like all the sizes and then it comes with the tablespoons as well and teaspoons and yeah like there was a point in time when i used to actively actively bake and like actively cook and stuff like that and i i want to revive that like a lot of the reason why i stopped is because there's only so much change that you can make in a space that doesn't belong to you and i would have to like lug things like, I would have to put all my things inside cartons and containers and then when I need to use them, start, like, looking through them to bring it out. And it really, like, it really has demoralized me from doing a lot of things that I love. And having to go out of your way to do certain things that are supposed to be, like, stress relieving and stuff like that, it takes away a lot of the appeal of it, in my opinion. So this next thing, I actually haven't opened, but I feel like it's a Christmas thing. God, I opened this thing so disrespectfully. <laughs> like... It was just bad. Okay, yes, these are Christmas decorations. So, um, I'm not really keen, keen, keen on, like, extra colorful decorations. But I will do a couple of colorful decorations because Zoe and stuff like that. But, like, this is the kind of thing that I really like. So, these are metal um, ornaments. They are so cute. I think this one is, like, a fairy or just a person in... In, yeah, the, she looks like a fairy. So there are a bunch of them here. I think there are about 12 in here My plan is to also like I really want an interactive Christmas tree So I want to be able to like get Zoe and like her cousins because she has cousins that live in Abuja And maybe cousins that might even be visiting as well. Who knows? Her cousins to have really interactive Christmases and like holidays where they can like make things for, from scratch. I would much rather decorate my house with things that like we make than having to constantly buy things. Um, in as much as I love buying a lot of things, I'm also like, I'm also lucky like a conspiracy theorist when it comes to capitalism. So <laughs> I know like it's just a catch 22. It's a catch 22, but I think it's also because of, you know, limited funds sometimes and also like not seeing the value in things after like a long time of having them. I always go off on a tangent. I'm so sorry. Well, I'm not sorry. I mean, it's, it's who I am. But the next set of things are just cutlery sets for Zoe. They are metal spoons and forks. She will definitely have and she definitely has her like regular cutlery. But I just felt like, you know, in special occasions, it would be nice as well if she could have like her special occasion stuff. So nice. Because like... I'm just trying to understand what she would be doing with the knife, you know? Okay, so this. <laughs> this, when I try it, I'm actually going to have to show you guys. Because for now, it's not going to make any sense. Um, I'm trying to look for something I can try it on. But there's nothing here. So what this is, is that it is a bag resealer. So when you buy, like, potato chips or candy or something like that, and it doesn't finish, and then it's just in the bag and you don't want it to enter, you actually use this to like seal it back up. This is also one of those Amazon made me buy it because, I mean, you can just use rubber bands to tie the bag at the end of the day. But yeah, like this is cuter, I think. So the last thing that I have in this homeware haul is my um, glass containers. Now, I almost ended up leaving these in America because I just was like, man, these are just too heavy. Like, I don't know where to start carrying these things. But I was just, I also said to myself, like, it's better if I'm the one that carries them because my boxes are those, like, hard, hard cover boxes as compared to the soft ones that they'll just put something on top and the thing will just break. So I have these um, glass foodware containers. Let me bring out the small one so that you can kind of get an idea a general sense of what it looks like this is what they look like so it is fully glass it's kind of a heavy weighted recycled glass and it has a bamboo lid that looks like this so it's airtight it's healthy your food is not more exposed to chemicals than it needs to be glass is not as permeable as plastic so your food stays fresher without like absorbing the smells of other things that are inside the fridge so yeah, there are a bunch of different sizes here. 
um, because we are a small family, <laughs> like we're only three people in reality, um, this is the biggest size that I have. So I bought two of this size, like I bought two of each size, so two packs of the whole thing basically. But this is the biggest size that we have. And then everything just goes smaller from there. And I just, I really like them, like I can envision putting something small in here, maybe just like a little bit of sauce that is remaining that you don't want to throw away, that you might use tomorrow. Or like an onion that you finished cutting and you don't want it to start absorbing all the bacteria inside your fridge. You know, like, not to make everything, you know, dark and dreary, but like, you know, effects is facts. <laughs> okay, wait, there's actually one thing. I hid this one because this is my, this is a shame. It's because I'm ashamed. If I wasn't ashamed, I wouldn't have hidden it. And that's what I'm understanding. Once I saw it now, I just, I felt the heat of the shame again. It was like, I said I'm going to move past it. This is called the neg. And yes, it is an egg peeler. <laughs> oh God, don't, I'm going to put the link to this below, but don't buy it yet. Cause I, I should try it out first before I say whether or not you should buy it. What I like about this is that Zoe really likes hard boiled eggs. And a lot of times when I'm making hard boiled eggs, I am in a hurry. <laughs> and I cannot remember the last time that I was able to successfully and patiently de-shell an egg. It is such a frustrating experience for me. I just don't understand why we should have to do it. I feel like it's not fair because like, who did I offend? I killed Jesus, but we all killed Jesus together. Do you understand? So this is supposed to make it easy. It has like bumps and grooves inside. And basically what you do is that you put the egg in, in the neg. Let me show you what this looks like. I got it in, in black. There are other colors, but they're all really bright and I was just, I'm just not about that life, I'm sure you can see by now. So you put it in and you shake it a little bit, you shake it so that it gets cracked, like it cracks, it bumps the different edges and helps you crack it. And then I've seen so many demonstrations of this. Best believe that regardless of whether or not I do buy some things on impulse, I think out of everything here, maybe two or three of those things were on impulse. I'll still read reviews and I'll still watch how they are being used beforehand because I still have to account for every amount that I'm spending. I can't just, you know, be buying things because they're cute, you know, while on a budget. So, like, I don't want to have to be explaining to Deji why I bought an egg, egg in this thing, an egg cracker, but it's like, babe, if you're watching this video, I bought an egg cracker, so, yeah, love you. And that's the last thing that I got. Um, I'm really excited to show you guys more of things that are going on. I like this video if you like home content, if you're like at that point in time in your life as well where you're paying bills and like <laughs> you're making house decisions and you're choosing paint colors and stuff like that. Things that you were just like, yeah, my life was easier when I didn't have to think about things like that. Comment below if you're one of us. So and like this video so I can make more home content so I know that you guys are down for the home content because it's it's kind of different from what I've been doing so yeah before I leave I have to say do not forget that you are sugar you are spice and you are bomb as jello fries baby also do not forget to check out my website burnbloombee.com link will be below I have a lot of different contents in there a lot of it right now is actually wedding related so if you're interested in that, bye guys. Mwah.